good morning everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we're gonna start a new vlog today oh, it's been a hot minute i'm still recovering it hasn't been two weeks since surgery but well over a week now and today i'm going to the mall with my family my mom and my sister are here visiting us for a week or two so i asked them to take us to the mall because i have a few errands to run and my only other means of going to the mall is taking a taxi since i can't drive my motorcycle yet so i'm asking them to take us to the mall i need to go to the gym not to work out but to um pay my gym membership fee because they tried to charge my account and i didn't have enough money in there um so i need to go to the bank so i can withdraw more money and go to the gym pay that but then also extend my pause on my gym membership since i'm not going there is an option to pause the gym membership but you still have to pay just like only 30 percent of what it would have been and pause my husband's gym membership as well and then i want to go to ikea to look for a mattress topper for my bed because it just hurts you guys i feel like my butt is bruised from sitting on it while sleeping i need to sleep sitting up um i need to buy some shampoo some groceries so i'm gonna take you guys along with me i'm gonna try well i'm gonna try to take you guys along with me and try and vlog little snippets here and there i might do a tiktok vlog i'm not sure but i already filmed a like asmr just like get ready with me video while listening to music for tiktok so i'm gonna edit that later on today but day in the life of a 26 year old living what day in the life of a content creator in bangkok thailand is probably going to be the name of this vlog made it to the mall there's my little girl with auntie soraya right now we're going into ikea to get my mattress topper and we parked in the ikea parking lot I want to look up if I can have coffee after having a breast surgery. Of course you can. What? <laughs> okay. I haven't had coffee in like two weeks. It's crazy. Do you know you look really scone today? Scone. <laughs> mm. <laughs> if I was a kid, I would have wanted this. There's no way this is only like 60 bucks. Foam mattress. Oh, okay. So the actual bed is... How much is that? 130. 130 but That's still not bad at all. I want this sheet. Hmm. Hey, guy, me there. She went through. She went through. Oh, they have a red one. I think I like this one better. Whoa, this one's super soft. Come feel this, Soraya. Mine been like a sheet. Oh. Okay, we made it to the mattress topper area. This is 27,000. For the mattress? Mm -hmm. Here, I'll look at these. <laughs> yeah, 3,000. This one's soft. 90 by 200. What? What is mine? King size. Yeah, I wonder which one that is. Oh, oh, cold normally. Eight thousand. I, I think my budget is like five thousand. It's different size. Yeah, I have king size, so I need a one eighty by two hundred. Maybe that might not even fit yours. That might be queen bed. Hmm. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. You won't be able to the shoes. Well, that's the biggest one. The baby dad's probably king. I'm gonna ask latex. Oh, these are the, these are the strong. Sit on this. That one's the coolest. Color. This one? That, that one will stay the coolest, yes. Oh. It should. How come these aren't like this, like that one? What are you talking about? Like the, this, like that, that has, 
this, these little squares on it and this Oh, blue. and the outside is whatever. It doesn't matter. This oh. is the filling. This is showing you the filling. Oh, I guess this might be enough. Or will my butt just go straight right, yeah, right through so. that? I'm gonna sit on this. There's no way for me to. There's then. There's no way for me to know if I like it or not. Well, well, then I guess I just. I guess it just has to be expensive. I would just buy the bag. Yeah, that's so expensive. I'll just buy one on Shopee at that point. I think Shopee will be cheaper. I decided I'm ordering it on Shopee instead. Look at all of those food stalls. I might get a smoothie, but I also want a coffee. I can't decide. All right, now I'm at the bank because I need to get some money. Okay, now that I have money, I can breathe a little bit. Um, I need to go to the gym to pay for my gym membership that I didn't pay for. And I don't think I can, now that I think about it, I don't think I can pause my gym membership any further because the current bill cycle is already, it's taking place right now. So I'm just gonna pay the full price but not be able to come in for the time being. That is where I go to, Virgin Active Fitness Club. Love it. Rip Curl has a free wadding, wadding? <laughs> They had a free like water dispenser machine right outside for water. But right now, um, I'm done with the gym. I transferred my recurring payment to my credit card instead of it charging to my true money wallet thing. It's just, it's so complicated, but it would be more convenient if they just charge the credit card. Um, so now I'm going to Watson's because I need some more shampoo. I'm out and I'm gonna get the Tsubaki brand. It's really, really good. Yeah. Look at this Cafe Amazon like automatic coffee shop. Iced coffee popcorn for 65. What's that? Iced coffee yuzu, iced Americano, iced cafe latte. That's actually very cheap. I wonder if I could change the milk. Uh, uh, hot milk or cold milk? What are you trying to do? I want to see if I can customize the milk. Yeah, All right, this is the brand that I want. I think, wow, that, uh, I love this packaging though. But I have this conditioner, so I'm going to get the matching shampoo. Yeah, I'm going to get that. And then my husband needs a shampoo too, so... Which one do you want to get? Maybe something from here. There's Tresemme. Hmm. They might have a tea tree one back here. Because he likes tea tree shampoos. Rosemary coconut coffee. Tamarind. Olive. Hemp seed. Yeah, there's. Really expensive. Not really. Three bucks. Do you want this one? Treatment shampoo. All hair types. One. It's buy one get one free too. Do you want something like this? Natural. Yeah. These look so interesting. Clear hair fault resist serum for six dollars. Vitalizing shampoo. Cool. Look, you guys. It's makeup remover cleansing water in a freaking baggie. I've never seen that before. Right there. The foam's cheap. Acne whip. Tea tree. Yeah, I think I'll get this then. I'll try this out. I'm running out of... Yeah, let's try this. All right, let's 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 finally go pay, bro. Okay, 
I spent way more money than I thought that I would in there. I didn't think it was gonna be that much. Droopy pizza. Droopy pizza. I want a star pepperoni on mine. Are you driving? Be careful, okay? I am driving. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I am so bloated right now. It's painful. Mm. glasses of coke i got a coupon and got like two cokes for free but i forgot that my husband doesn't like sprite so i ordered him a sprite and now i have an extra coke so now i'm gonna ask them for two cups to go home because i feel so bad leaving here like such like what would you guys do would you guys do that <laughs> said, I forgot my husband doesn't like sprite so i got him a sprite oh <laughs> i meant my husband doesn't like coke not sprite uh, Wait, we played this with Monica? Yeah, we played it with Monica. Oh, they're even dressed in Thai too. Yeah, so you have like the word that you're trying to get them to say. Oh, I don't think I played this with you guys. That would be interesting though, because I, I don't know any Thai words. Yeah, that, that I don't are, even know that, that word either. What the freak is that? Sapro. I think they are supposed to be kind of weird words. Like it's things you wouldn't normally say. Use in, in real life, yeah. yeah. Well, no, you use them like it's a real thing, but. Yeah, but it's not like an everyday kind of word. Yeah. Even this, throy. I don't know what that is. What the frick is that? What is that word? And what is that word? We came into a bookstore. Rose. We've been like taking turns watching Rose. Rose went with my mom and Soraya. They went to go eat ramen. Okay. Put it, put it down. Undertaker. Undertaker? What about this one? Brackish. It means like harsh water. Dangerous water. Oh. I wonder, if, I wonder if your mom and dad would play that. Play this. Maybe. Like, do you think they know, you know those kind of words? Maybe. I think, yeah, they, they know those words. Know yeah. Oh, someone beat this thing up. Man, it's a public game. Yeah. <laughs> Ticket to ride? Yeah, it's New York. Right? New York. That's like the movie my mom. Yeah, I've never played it before. Look, yeah, it looks like a simple game. Look how big the board is. There's so many things. Yeah. Wow. And a lot of freaking. Yeah, a lot of tokens. Damn. The hell? It looks That's like a lot. There's like trading for things. This looks like. Do you stand these up? You, you put them into the board, maybe. They have like little stakes at the bottom. Maybe. Uh, no, I think they cover things up. Like, uh, I think you get these notepads. That's for probably a kid. That's for probably the score. I see. That's cool. You can just come you can, it you can check. You can check up there. It's probably there somewhere. Those are the ones with plastic, you know? Ah, uh, so people can come and play a game and be like, oh, I like this game. Let me buy it. It's only 2000 Oh, it's cheap. For this, for this game, I wonder if it's fun. It, it, it must be. If they translate it in Thai. Yeah. Like something that, like, globally like a globally fun kind of game if you guys are wondering i did get the two drinks <laughs> however there's no way that that big glass fit in this small cup don't you think they gave me less <laughs> Thank you.
But I said just divide it in half and then we both have our own decks and then we both flip the card over and it has like patterns on it and we whoever calls out like what the patterns have in common wins and the loser has to give their card to the winner. So like whoever has the most cards at the end wins. We're just gonna play it like that. Okay, ready? Oh we're holding it. Ready, set, go. Oops, sorry. Soccer. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's the only one in thing in common, yeah? Yeah, it should be, yeah. Okay. Ah. I mean, yeah, that's the glove. Yeah, Ready, yeah. set, go. I think. Ready, set, go. Oh, and there might not be anything. There's nothing. Bulldozer! Or what are the stick guys doing? Jackhammer. Yeah. <laughs> Jackhammer. <laughs> Referee. Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> the very uniform. Oh! <laughs> Cup. Oh. Uh. Cupcake. Lady. I mean, does that count? Is yeah. that Blue's logo? I think so. The science, the science thing. <laughs> Beaker. Sunglasses. Um. Well, who, you, you won. Yeah. <laughs> I am home now. Excuse the lighting. Should I use this ring light? I am home now. Let me do a quick little haul of the things that I got. Okay, so I picked up a few things as... What? I picked up a few things at Watson's, as you guys saw. But the first thing I got was this Tsubaki... Premium X Intensive Repair Shampoo. And I didn't realize it at the time, but my husband looked it up and that's Kim Ju. No, it's not. Oh. In show. That's her. I didn't know that was really her. There's like two or three girls in there. Yeah, her yeah, she is she is the main character, Kim Bok Ju. So got that i have the conditioner already and i really really love it let me just talk about it for a second let me go get them oh, this is so little. let me just touch up a little bit even though i'm literally about to take all my makeup off i don't like seeing all that shine right there remind me to clean my brushes because they're nasty okay so this is the conditioner that I've been using and I just got the matching shampoo. Why is the packaging a little bit different? I also have their premium repair mask right here. This is not sponsored whatsoever. I genuinely love 
their brand. I got these two. A few weeks back, I didn't get the shampoo because I already had a shampoo that I've been using. I've been using the purple L'Oreal Elevine. It's like a purple bottle for like hydration. I've been using that shampoo and it cleans my hair, it does the job. However, it doesn't really help with like really moisturizing my hair, I feel. It just feels like, like my hair is still dry and on top of that, my scalp gets really itchy and flaky after a few days. So I don't really like that shampoo, but I was out of conditioner. So I decided to get the Tsubaki conditioner and my hair was very dry and just like, like brassy feeling. Um, and it just wasn't smooth and it would always get tangly. And I even went to get a haircut and got it thinner, hoping that it would help. And it helped at the very beginning, but then like after a while, it just went back to being like very tangly and dry and crunchy and just not really silky smooth like how I wanted it to be. And so I went into Watson, no, I went into Buterium and then I got this conditioner and then this repair mask. Literally the first time I used it, I was so shocked. I haven't, this wasn't the case for me, but literally like this used to not be the case for me, but literally after using these two products, from Tsubaki and I washed my hair. My hair was silky smooth, no tangles. That's usually never the case. There will, it will I will wash the conditioner out and it, there would still like at least be some tangles. No, this literally like untangled my hair as I washed out the conditioner. It was insane. And the hair mask, it, it was insane. So I love these. They also smell really amazing. They also have a golden bottle of this hair mask, but I got the pink one. This is what it looks like. And yeah, it's so good. So highly, highly recommend. I made a TikTok video of me shopping for these and someone commented that I think, I think they said that it was like the number one hair care brand in Japan. So I finally ran out of my purple shampoo from L'Oreal or whatever. So I'm gonna opt, I'm gonna switch to using this from Spocky. So I got that. And then my husband got his own type of shampoo because we don't want him using mine. So he got this Naturals by Watson's Aloe Vera shampoo. Um, it's like one of the clean formulas, certified organic aloe vera from Mexico. And it's this strengthening formula for oily and dandruff prone scalps. And then we saw a tea tree skincare collection and my husband was talking about how tea tree is really good for like acne and whatnot and i've honestly never really tried anything tea tree even though like i've heard people talk about it i just never really went down that route so i'm coincidentally running out of my face wash at the moment so i thought okay hey let's just try it so i got this tea tree anti-acne facial cleanser it's a gentle cleanser and it says it's ph friendly i i like the pump packaging I haven't smelled it yet, but it looks like a gel kind of consistency. And then there's also a like whipping foam formula as well. Triple treatment active, natural skin barrier for anti-acne, oil control, and skin awakening. Um, I got this for a cheaper price because I had like points to do so, I guess. So I got all of these. All of these together was like, I wanna say 25 bucks. Didn't expect to use that much money at the store, but those are the things that I got. And then as you guys saw, we went to have pizza and I have, oops. The plan for the rest of the night, I need to journal in my iPad. I forgot to journal in it this morning. You guys know I've been um, gratitude journaling in the morning and like planning my content in my digital journal. But I didn't do that this morning because I woke up really, really late this morning, so. I need to do that. And then I wanted to watch The Greatest Showman. Anyways, um, I wanted to watch The Greatest Showman with my family because they haven't seen it yet. And I love that movie. And my dad has been obsessing over the song Never Enough, despite having not even seen the movie yet. So I'm like, okay, we all need to watch this movie, but I need to figure out a way to find the movie to stream and to get it on the TV. So that's a whole ordeal, but my dad's already watching some movie downstairs, so we'll see what happens tonight, but I do want to watch that movie with everybody. So that's gonna be my plan, but for now I'm going to 
gratitude journal and check up on my content creator diary. I know, I know I am behind on my content creating schedule that I planned out for myself this week. I'm like a few videos behind. So maybe I'll film those right now, like, like after I look at my content creator diary. Yeah. Currently getting ready to watch The Greatest Showman. Super excited. But I want to make my popcorn too. Why don't we rewrite the stars? Say you were made to be mine. Nothing can keep us apart. You are the I was meant to find it's not up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. As you can see, or you can probably tell, we finally ended up watching The Greatest Showman. It took a while to get it onto the TV screen, but we figured it out. It's time for me to take a shower, Rosie to take a shower. We're gonna end the night. First. Okay, yeah, we're gonna shower Rosie first, but just wanted to end the vlog here with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. It was kind of boring. I know this title is like day in the life as a 26 year old content creator living in Thailand, but I didn't really show anything of me making content today, but oh well, um, yeah. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see from me so I can get some ideas. And I'll see you guys in my next video, bye. Bye. Yeah.